rhythmic beat of drums has a definite fascination, whether it belongs to the military band or the dance band, especially if in such expert hands as Jack Simpson. At an early age, this fascination takes a hold, and from earliest times, as the British Museum shows, man has used the drum. Some of the native drums here have been sound filmed in the Great Museum for the first time. Drums were not always hollow. The most primitive were of solid chalk, and these are the oldest in the world. The best known, of course, is the skin stretch drum, similar to this Virginia specimen, which also is typical of Central Africa. 200 years ago, voyagers brought this shark skin drum from Tahiti. That was a hand drum. This is a finger drum used by the women of New Guinea. The men of New Guinea use this drum. In Nigeria, an adjustable drum is squeezed to alter the note. The Belgian Congo had a friction drum, from which possibly we made the tin and resin string of our childhood days. Another type of friction drum is used at funerals. It's symbolic of crying spirits. The Congo also has the Batitela, with six notes for sending long messages. Over 400 years ago, this wooden drum was used in Mexico for singing and dancing. Today, xylophonists in bands like Al Tabor's tap their wooden notes. Singing and dancing in West Africa is accompanied by this primitive rattle. Dance bands the world over have borrowed this rattling good idea.